Hi guys, it's Unders and today we are having a look at Molecular again. If this type of video is useful for you, please pop a subscribe on the channel, pop a like on the video, it helps me out massively in creating more content for you guys. So today in Molecular, we're going to have a look at the routing section. Now this is the far right hand side section over here. And this is going to affect how you've set up or how you have taken your sound and how it's going to be ordered and arranged. So there's a few things to note in here. The default routing takes the effects as they are across the bottom here in order and puts them all through one or the other. So the vocoder goes into the filter, filter into level, level into metaverb, and that is the absolute order of how they run. Little routing tab up here, if you click the down icon, you can actually choose how they are then ordered as well. So we can have it so 1, 2 and 3 go and 4 is processed separately. We can have it go 1 and 2 are processed and then it splits off and processes 3 and 4 separately. If you were then to click scan, it brings up this little tab here, this little white circle. Now that is effectively a crossfader so you can choose your output. So we can have it in the middle and it's going to be a blend of what's going out of 3 and 4. Or we'll have here, it will just go 1, 2, and 4. And of course, down the bottom, we'll go 1, 2, and 3, excluding 4. And that can then be applied differently to the different ones we've got. So this puts each one out separately. You can then, you can then scan between all four of them there. Now, this is really useful in the fact that you might just want to have a couple of different sounds happening or you want to just create a, a blend between all of them. We'll have a little listen to what I've got going on here. This might sound an absolute mess because I haven't tested it. Again, it blends between each four, each of the four different processors. If we grab this one here, and it's going to do one, two, and then the three and four, we'll see if we can hear a difference there. It'll only be minimal, bringing in the reverb. Cool. Now, across the top up here, we've also got this little tuning fork. Now what this does is a pitch quantization, so similar to what you'll see with an auto-tune effect happening within the effect itself. And it has a set of patterns and you can choose the notes you want to be. So you've got the five notes across the top here, they're going to be your sharps and then this is going to be your white keys across here. So you can work out what keys you want to happen in each one. If you assign, you can also automate so it swaps through the different patterns and that is what's happening here, which is why the vocoder changes sound. There's something else that's really useful to note. You can swap these around completely freely. So where we've got one and two and then three being processed here, I can actually go and put four in here and swap it with two. If I want to do one and three. And it's completely freely routable. And as you can see, it affects the sound dramatically to what you're doing. Cool. So that's a little overview of the routing section in Molecular. Stay tuned for the next videos.